hello let's assume that ram after appearing for several job interviews receives three job offers he is now little confused about selecting the right job the first step is to determine the parameters on which he would base his selection he lists these parameters and these parameters are the first and the foremost of these is the salary or remuneration second one is the stability and the third one the future prospect for the job this list may not be exhaustive but can contain more parameters but to make our life more simple let us concentrate only on these parameters let us now list all the parameters in a table now ram has done that and he has got this table this table has jobs which are labeled as j1 j2 and j3 and below j1 he has written the remuneration per month for job j1 this is 60000 for job j2 this is 75000 and for job j3 it is 100000 next he lists the stability job j1 is a government job so it is supposed to be very stable so he writes very stable under j1 j2 is a large company and he thinks it is a fairly stable job so he writes fairly stable below j2 and under j3 which is a startup startup company he writes unstable now next he lists the future prospects for the job for that he has chosen the criteria he has found out by visiting the different companies that how many number of years one has to spend after entering the job for the next promotion in the government job that may be 7 years for the job j2 which is a large corporation it may be 2 years and for job j3 it may be 2 years as told by the company we find that the job 3 gives the highest salary which is 100000 per month but it may be the least stable the job j1 gives the least salary but it is the most stable and the job j2 gives reasonably high salary and it is fairly stable and its future prospects are also quite good naturally he may choose the job j2 but is there a procedure to find out uh, uh, find out the best job yes fortunately there is one which is by using the fuzzy logic inspect row 1 of the table it gives the salary for three jobs we have to define for each one of these values what is called a membership value the membership value which is alternately known as the possibility value is the extent to which the element belongs to the fuzzy set its value may range from 0 to 1 the highest offered 
salary is 100,000 for which we can assign a membership value of 1. For the other two elements of the list, we may arrive the membership value by dividing the salary per month by 100,000. So for the job J1, for the job J1, the membership value would be 0 0.6 and for job J2, the membership value will be 0 0.75 and for the job J3, the membership value is 1.0. Now we construct using the membership value what is called a fuzzy set for remuneration. So with each one of the element we have the corresponding membership value which I have put them together in a bracket. So with job J1 the membership value is 0 0.6 while job J2 the membership value is 0 0.75 while job J3 it is 1. So this creates a fuzzy set for remuneration. Similarly for other two criterion we have to create the fuzzy step, fuzzy set and we have to first know their membership value. Come to future prospect next because future prospect is more uh, defined it has an objective value so we can find out the membership value for future prospect using using this formula one minus one minus number of years divide by maximum number of years this is for the first promotion so for J1 the membership value would be 1 minus 7 divided by 10 mm -hmm. so this gives me 0 0.3 for J2 this is 1 minus 2 divide by 10. This gives me 0.8. So for J3, this is 1 minus 2 divide by 10 is equal to 0.8. Now, uh, how I have written maximum number of years to be equal to 10 is the limiting number of years for which Ram can wait for the next promotion. So arbitrarily I and uh, Ram has chosen this to be uh, 10. So now we have the membership values for uh, for uh, future prospect so we can obtain the fuzzy set for future prospect which I have written as F and we have written the membership values for jobs J1, J2 and J3 with J1, J2, J3 and we have formed the fuzzy set for future prospect. Now coming to the 
creation of fuzzy set for stability. Now uh, we find that job 1 is very stable while job 2 is fairly stable and job 3 is very unstable. So for these, for stable job, we can, we can write the membership value as 1. For fairly stable job, we can write the membership value as 0.8. And for unstable job, we can write the membership value as 0.2. So, we can form the fuzzy set for stability as, as that we have, I have written J1, 1, J2, 0.8 and J3, 0.2. Now, in order to construct the suitability fuzzy set out of these three sets, we have to use uh, this formula. This is the membership value for the suitability set. The suitability set will have minimum of the three membership values that are there in these three sets. So we find that for for J1 the minimum membership value is 0.3. So uh, for the suitability set we have for J1 uh, 0 0.3 as its membership value. And for similarly for J2 we can find the minimum value of the membership set a uh, membership value j2 0.75 is the minimum value so we, i have taken for j2 0.75 and for j3 this is 0.2 and i have taken for j3 0.2 as the membership value for the suitability fuzzy set now in the suitability set, the most suitable choice would be the one with largest membership value. So inspection of these uh, elements in the suitability se uh, uh, set shows that for J2 the membership value is the maximum one and therefore the most suitable job that Ram can choose out of the three jobs would be J2. Thank you for watching.